Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be going over your blocks for your second strike for orange belt or eighth cube. So we're gonna be into Coco Touch back stance. Okay. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right hand. So right now my left leg is in the front, my right leg is in the back. My right hand is gonna be forward, kind of down toward the solar plexus, right? And my left hand is gonna come up, right? So my arms are really close. This is what it looks like. Almost like the left palm is to my ear and my right palm is also facing this direction, okay? From here, I'm gonna pull back the right hand and move the left hand simultaneously. And I'm gonna kinda of chop across with the left and pull back the right hand. Now the right hand, the back hand, this is my sternum, right? And then down right here, that little soft spot, this is my solar plexus. My hand is just beneath that solar plexus to be able to cover it, okay? My elbow's down. And then your fingers are at the height of your shoulder. Okay? Just right here. So come into the middle. Okay. Good. So he's actually going, when he does this motion, he's actually going to shift his body, his upper body, to the front. There we go. So right now his back leg is still pointing to the side. His front knee is pointing to the front. And his belly button is doing what he can to shift it all the way to the front. So he's square with you guys, okay? And all he's gonna do is when he chops, he's gonna twist to the side and chop. Ready, go. Good, Mr. Mayor. And then we're gonna tuck these thumbs in, making sure they don't get caught. And what he's doing is he's hitting right here. So again, this block is known as shoot the hoop game. Uh, shoot though refers to this part of the hand, this ridge part of the hand, like a knife. So it's a, a knife block, okay? Ready, and get set, one. And two, drive, one, two. Now, there's a couple ways you can practice this, stand up. So our forward, we're gonna come here at one, and then when we go in, when we step forward with our left leg, we're gonna imagine like our left hip is gonna cut inside. So like I'm taking my hip and really driving forward. So it's not necessarily pulling back, more so shooting the hip forward. So he's right here, he's set, and one. And the other side, set, two, breathe out. And left, right, good. Right, and we could go over a little bit more in regards to applications, what are both of these hands doing, okay? The next one is known as Hate Shutuke. So you hear the word Shutuke, so there is some knife hand block in there. But tate in Japanese means vertically, okay? So it literally means that the hand's gonna be here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be in a front stance, since it's Dutch. And all I want you to do, just go ahead and take the right hand forward, have left hand to the side. Bring your left hand underneath, but open up the left hand, close the right, and then pull back, and then what you're doing is you're taking your left hand, you're just shooting it straight forward. Good, so it's not really coming across, it's going, straight. You want to really extend that, okay? So the back of this shoulder blade is actually flat against his body. Turn to the side of the It's flat against the body. It's not, shrug your shoulder back. It's not tight like this where I can grab the shoulder blade, shoot it forward. It's extended and he's hitting with the ridge of this hand right here against my arm, okay? So, if Ryland were to punch with this arm, this is my my block. Okay? So again, go up, go up, right here. And just get some here. Here, and I'm kind of chopping, hitting right in this little section of the arm. Okay? So as a student, just practicing, you can do one, two, one, two, one. Two. And depending on if it's a, if you're in hamni position, it's with the front hand. If you're doing a yaku, or the reverse, then you'll be in shomen. Just kind of depends on which one you're doing. Uh, you'll get a better sense of it when you do it with your key palm versus just the extension. 